What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoewear and today we're taking a quick look at one of the newest running shoes on the market, the Adidas Adi Zero Prime X Solar Red. All right, so before I get into how these actually feel to run in and like move around in, let's take a quick look at the overall design and the appearance for this new shoe first. So really quick for the box, these do come in like a gray hued box and it's, it's pretty basic. You got the end plastic waist uh, plate on the front and it's like a small patch on there. It kind of further states that these are actually made up partly of recycled material like similar to what other brands like nike is doing with like their space hippie shoe line and then some other brands are doing the same thing too so that's just something cool about this shoe and they are retailing for the low price of 250 dollars so just make sure your bills are paid before you even begin to consider this shoe but for the appearance of these there are a few things that really jumped out to me whenever i was checking them out for the first time so the first thing was i can't like speak for what every colorway is going to look like but the mesh on this upper is is see-through it's kind of like kind of transparent you can kind of see through that right there and i don't necessarily dislike that but it does like make your socks visible through the shoe and i just I don't really love the way that that looks to be completely honest it's of course you know not a huge deal that's just kind of my preference but one thing it does do is it shows just how breathable the shoe is you get a better idea for that but the second major thing that i noticed on the shoe is just how high and how i don't want to say bulky but how high that midsole is so i'm going to get into the cushioning and stuff like that that region more in a second uh but it's just way up there i reviewed the ultra boost 2021 a few months back and i felt like i was moonwalking in those but like these just give that a whole new meaning and i don't mind you know i don't mind walking around a few inches taller though i mean sign me up for that but these two features like were definitely what caught my eye first but breaking down you know more of the appearance you know breaking it down just a little bit more it's a little unnatural like for me having my foot so high off the ground uh that could be because i'm like really especially used to walking around in like jordan ones and even my asics shoes they, they just don't have nearly that midsole height but like the overall makeup of this shoe i think it's pretty nice the indentations or indentions or whatever on the bottom of the shoe are pretty cool it kind of cuts in and it's it's like a it's a pretty unique cut it kind of makes it look like an arrow a little bit if you're looking at it from the bottom and then not just like on the inside of the shoe but on the inside of your foot's where i'm talking about so like that interior portion from underneath and then if you look at the inside of the shoe though the insoles they do have like some holes in them that kind of give off a cool look it's kind of tough to show right now they do give off a cool look but they are not removable okay let me rephrase that if you if you want them to come out i'm sure you can make them come out but they definitely don't want you to take them out of the shoe but overall definitely not like a bad look in my opinion but this is a running shoe and after all that's not what we came here to talk about the appearance so let's see how these hold up for performance all right so now for what really matters let's check out the materials on these on these shoes and see, see how they hold up to actually run in so i'm gonna be really honest with you i kind of had mixed emotions about these from the second that i slid them on for one specific reason i don't know if it's because i'm just so used to being like closer to the ground like i was talking about but the first time that I put these on, I could just like I tried to walk around and I could feel my ankles just trying to roll to the outside. And it felt like I was like a baby deer taking his first steps. I knew like I just knew it wasn't right because I'm not saying like I'm some pro athlete or anything like that. But like I played sports in college. I would consider myself somewhat of an athlete who like definitely knows how to walk at least. And I personally felt like it was lacking a little bit of stability in that heel or like more of that ankle area. But my hope was actually restored whenever I started to run in these because the balance, it, it really did level out whenever you actually put it into motion. It's probably more just me like not being used to those like elevated feeling. But let's go ahead and actually check out the materials on these shoes now. So as I was just touching on, the reason that you are so elevated off the ground is going to come from like a triple layer light strike pro cushioning that Adidas used on this shoe and it actually kind of shows the specific labeling on the side there it says like light strike pro cushion on the midsole which is nice because it kind of shows you exactly 
where it is being used at and this is the most cushioning ever packed into an adidas shoe is what it says on the specifics which is really cool it, it's actually like 50 millimeters high so you couldn't even compete in these because you can only go up to 40 to be able to compete so that just shows you how much is actually going in that shoe and it's super soft i mean you can compress it with your hand and it's like not stiff at all you can really see it like bend in form whenever you have pressure applied to it and then back to what i was just hitting on a second ago with like the stability for the shoe these do have a sling launch heel that's sort of meant to stabilize your foot and keep it locked in but the thing is with there being like so much more surface area in the front portion of that shoe than the back like maybe not so much but like you can just look at it and there's definitely more in the front that's kind of what feels like it throws off the balance for these just a little bit i wouldn't like recommend these for like if you're going to be running on a trail or if you're running on like different surfaces this shoe may not be the best but like running on flat and stable surfaces that didn't give me any problems for these at all but really quick i did want to kind of uh double down and go back to the recycled piece that i hit on from the box uh just a second ago and expand on it just a little bit more so like the box said some of this shoe is going to be made up of recycled material but i really just wanted to like read what adidas had for the specifications on this because i feel like brands love to kind of get tricky or like confusing whenever they're telling you like just how much of something that they use whenever they construct a shoe so anyways according to adidas the audi zero prime x uh, for the audi zero prime x 20 percent of the pieces that make up the upper are made out of at least 50 percent recycled material so feel free to dissect that, what that actually means on your own time. Maybe it is just simple and I'm just easily confused, but the wording on that feels like, you know, they want it to sound a little bit better or a little more used than there maybe, maybe is, but any recycled material that's going to be better than none. I just thought the wording on that, like that Adidas used was kind of funny, but moving down to the bottom of these, there are going to be some energy rods in the uh, bottom of the shoe that do give like a very responsive feel. It is really noticeable. I mean, with this much cushion, you kind of expect it to feel like you're running on a cloud, but that's totally okay because it, it really does feel like you're running on a cloud. And then these even have a really good traction pattern that is going to help with like slipping and stuff like that, which of course, you know, that's not going to be a major concern because running shoes with running shoes most of the time, but like for people that are training outside in the rain, like psychos, I'm just playing. I, I just don't love to run as a hobby too often, but if you are someone that does find yourself running outside whenever it is wet, you should be covered there. And then finally, to finish off with sizing, this was a true to size fit for me, which is honestly sometimes a struggle for me for me with Adidas brand sometimes. But these did fit true to my overall size, which is pretty important for running shoes, because whenever you're going to be, you know, outside running and stuff like that, you're going to want something comfortable if you plan on, you know, going for more than a mile, which is usually where I prefer to stop at. But overall, this is like a really solid running shoe. In the very beginning, you know, I was like questioning the balance and stuff like that. But after, you know, putting them on, putting them to the test and action, I was definitely impressed by the shoe. All right, so that wraps up our performance review on the Adidas Adi Zero Prime X Solar Red. Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. And if you're interested in purchasing these shoes, just check out the links in the description below. And then also be sure to click the link in our bio. And from there, you can find our shoes that are available for sale on our website. You can also head over to our social media to kind of stay in Hmm. stay informed with upcoming sneaker releases and drops and stuff like that and then last just feel free to leave a like or a comment below let us know if you uh like the video or what other shoes you want us to check out but until next review i'm landon from shoe wear peace